Hello everyone, it is your lovely host, The Gaming Weasel, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the settings for Warframe. What are the best settings for Warframe, and what you can change and make your HUD really cool and nice, and a little bit of a customization, I guess. Now, let's quickly go into our beloved options. There will be a second part of this video, or I guess a second video that is a part of the series, which is going to be an FPS boost guide, so we're gonna do that next time when that rolls around but for now let's cover the keyboard and mouse controls now you have to keep in mind whatever i say that it is personal preference i'm gonna gloss over it and go real quick because i don't want to drag the video out any further does it have to so here basically everything is personal preference there is nothing that i uh, would recommend you activate or deactivate to actually change anything noticeable in the game now couple of things as you can see on my gear wheel uh, my sixth and seventh gear uh, item have a key binding so this means i'm gonna activate as you can see right there my energy pizzas with mouse four and my archwing with mouse button five so at least do that equip those two onto your gear wheel at least those two in my situation you can uh, basically you know bind every single one but energy pizzas you're almost always going to use and i almost always use archwings when i can other than that what i honestly recommend is well everything based on your personal preference so yeah that is basically it for keyboard and mouse same goes for controller if you have a controller you know you can enable these settings or copy my settings if you want to but i didn't change anything here because i do not have a controller now system in system basically the best thing that you want to do is set your pc type to desktop if you have one uh, any one of these three is personal preference and region select your region so you have the best ping and lower it as much as you possibly can in all three of these because i'm not an internet expert uh, i always keep these on and this is at least my default port and then cross platform is also personal preference I personally do have this enabled because I want to play with people from other platforms, but this is all up to you. Now, social. Same thing. Personal preference. A lot of personal preferences here. Uh, if you don't want to do surveys, disable them. And uh, the best thing that I recommend is to link your Steam account, of course. That is the first thing. Uh, but everything than that this is totally customizable which chat you want to see for example i don't need q a i mostly know everything that's going on because i have to keep up to date to warframe but everything else you can you know adjust however you want it now a little bit of customization you can always change the color of your emoticons now this only changes it for you to the best of my knowledge this is only client side but nonetheless it is pretty cool you can change those and i keep this on so it converts my emoticons or i guess my my symbols into actual you know uh, cute little chats interface a little bit more of customization here we have your ui you, this usually costs some platinum so you know i always have to keep that in mind like this one the hairier one is going to be based around our beloved zephyr's actual deluxe skin and now this one the fortuna one that i actually use on a daily basis actually always is it costs 50 platinum so these actually do cost you platinum but sometimes you might get something that is going to be free like the concura background for example this is the one that i use at the moment really like this one i used to use the I used to use the Fortuna one and the Baruch one, but I switched to Conquera, and with the sounds, this basically changes the sound of, you know, you know, as you can see, hopefully you can hear it a little bit, but I use the Zephyr Harrier ones. Uh, here, also, item labels can be turned on or off, mouse cursor, you can change it right here to whichever one you like, and you can actually change the size here as well. I changed it up so it's a little bit uh, easier to see in a video, but you can also change the color of your mouse to whatever color you have available. So, you know, I can choose white, like really white, like this, uh, right here, or just go back to default. So, show Tenno uh, guide. If you're a new player, activate this. If you're not, you don't really need it. Uh, everything else, I, is, I guess, is basically going to be personal preference. I actually didn't even touch uh, anything in here other than show UI and screenshots. I don't uh, want to see my UI and screenshots, so this is why I turned this off. Uh, show HUD, of course, that's going to be very important. Now, 
Another cool thing, uh, I have, like, some people did ask me about this, uh, show damage numbers, I use the enhanced one. I do not uh, disable them, I do not use the legacy ones like they were before a couple of updates, I use the enhanced version. Now, this is up on the screen, how it looks up in Add Enhanced. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks, of course, in Legacy. And now I'm going to show you compact numbers right here. So how it looks with compact numbers and uh, now you're going to be seeing how it looks without compact numbers. Now, the only things that I've changed, I put this to enhanced and I have uh, put this in disabled because I want to see 2.3 million or 5 million or 6 million with my Warframes and I keep this on. Everything else is personal preference as you can see right here i've changed up out a couple of these so if you want you can copy my settings or put in your own but now the most important part of the video the video settings put this to full screen put this to full screen it's always going to be better i use borderless full screen because i have only one monitor and i can see my chat in the top right corner uh, with borderless full screen but if you use full screen that is going to be the best way to choose your native resolution, your maximum refresh rate on your monitor. Uh, I prefer disabling VSync. Uh, no frame limit. I do use sometimes a frame limit of 200 uh, FPS, but rarely. Here you have your brightness, your contrast. The only thing that I recommend is put in uh, field, uh, field of view to the highest number. I disable show FPS. I don't like that. I don't like having that anymore because I don't honestly need it. I always have a Steam number right here. And then upscaling. Either choose DLSS or FSR, depending if you're using NVIDIA or, uh, of course, uh, AMD graphics card. But this is also depending if you want to upscale. I don't personally upscale my game. Uh, what I do, enhanced engine is definitely a must for me and for most of us who have a decent enough PC. I always choose medium settings. I keep a TAA, a TAA at uh, high, just because, I guess, uh, honestly, anti-aliasing, if you're having a lot of issues... Uh, with anti-aliasing and lowering your FPS, lower this to FXAA or fully disabled, uh, but I keep it at here. Everything on medium, I don't really like, uh, I mean, I don't preferably put everything to high, just because, I mean, my PC can't handle it, but sometimes when there's a new graphics update, it, it does bug out a little bit, so i just rather not change it. Um, for me, I just love to filter off, trilinear filter saturation is going to be on default. Uh, sharpen uh, temporal effects, also this is something that you can of course, disable or enable, but that is dependent also on which one you are using. And then dynamic lighting, volumetric lighting, local lighting. Lighting looks beautiful in Warframe. I want to use these if you're uh, having issues with FPS. Basically, everything that's here, turn this off. Some things that you should definitely turn off. Motion blur, depth of field, distortions, uh, glare. That is at least, in my opinion, something that is quite a hindrance to visibility and enjoyment of a game. And I always disable these in every single game. Now, we do have a uh, film grain and bloom. This is dependent on your uh, actual, I guess, preferences. Weapon elemental effects. I would honestly turn this off on always. It just makes the weapons look a little bit cooler. So that's why I use it. And everything else, as you can see, is turned on right here. If you're having issues with FPS, turn it down. Audio. Everything is personal preference. I, for example, of course, set your default audio device for me. It doesn't actually... Uh, tell me uh, my headset's name, the HyperX uh, Cloud 2s, but uh, set this to your default one and everything else here is basically personal preference. Uh, Reaver quality, turn this into advanced, this is definitely a must in my opinion, the old one, the I guess legacy where reverb doesn't sound that good. I have enabled all three of these because we love hearing these little noises and um, I didn't disable voice chat, I do have my microphone and my headset set up, but um, I do not use it. And then accessibility. This is going to be quite good. Now, everything here is mostly personal preference. If you're going to hold the sprint or if you're going to hold to aim, it is all up to you. One thing that I want you to keep in disabled is enable screen shake. This disable, disable this. This is awful with Warframes such as Gauss uh, because it makes the camera bounce around enormously and it's irritating to look at, so disable this. And if you're having issues with FPS, reduce teammate visual effects, turn this to on. I'm actually gonna turn that on just because we love extra FPS. This is going to be very good because it's going to increase your FPS by a little bit because you're not you're seeing less visual effects and your graphics card works a little bit less to turn that on. Now, customization. We have customized HUD colors. Here is where you can customize basically everything from your health shields, over shields, over guard, restore shields at health, buffs, debuffs, uh, hit indicators, headshot indicators, crit numbers. So, you know 
critical is going to be yellow, big critical, super critical, ability damage. You can change all of this. The way that I recommend you do it is preferably inside of the simulacrum and change it in there. But other than that, as you can see, we have everything, every color that you possibly want to see. So, yeah, you can customize it there. You can also show subtitles or disable that. I personally keep that enabled and also the HUD as well. Because uh, I disabled all my sound, it's basically at zero, so I love having subtitles so I can at least read that. But those were the settings of Warframe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this wasn't too long. Of course, there will be timestamps. So you can skip to those. And yeah, those are my settings. I guess, as I said, there will be an FPS guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys uh, uh, really liked the video. If it was helpful, if you need some questions, put them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. This has been your lovely host, Gaming Weasel, over and out.